Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today we're reading a thing called uh, a series of horrors or something. The Vault of Horror. Um, the following is work of fiction. The court contains things which may be disturbing to some readers. Oh, those with with weak hearts are advised not to read. New email. I'm terrified to open it because I know that there's something very wrong with it. The Vault of Horror is a collection of nightmares research. Mid May 2011, Juno and I were preparing a special summer horror comic for Never. Juno was writing the story and I was doing the artwork. Juno went to do some place, some research on a place he wanted to use for a study. It was an old abandoned hospital somewhere. Huff Huff said. Um. Oh crap, that's creepy. Ah the help. Ah da 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 Hmm. She was probably hoping a surprise readers with this. It looks like the overall structure is pretty much set. But when I actually draw it out, it's not very scary. If you who knows having some trouble coming up with a good scenario, then I should try to think of something. Uh, dot, 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 question mark. Oh, it's him. Hey, out doing research? How's it going? Think we've got a good story for our horror comic? I've been looking around, but I haven't found anything too exciting yet. But now that I'm here, I'm sure I'll be able to think of something. We'll just have to wait a bit longer. Well, okay, then. Um, I'll wait a bit. Wait, okay, I can wait a bit longer. Anyway, the signal in here isn't very good at all, so it's not easy to call you. Even now, I was just barely able to find a signal. Oh gosh. I'm surprised I figured there were antennas. I'm surprised I figured there were antennas all over the place. I never thought there'd be a place in Korea where phones don't work. Well, if you have trouble calling, just text me any ideas you get. Okay, Diane. I'll email you any good ideas or materials that I find, too. Cool? Sounds good. But hey, when do you think you'll be back? I'm not... Hello? Did you know? Hmm, it cut off. Looks like the signal really is bad. Dot, 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 question mark, 2.27 a.m., where the heck is he at this time of night? A few days later, I got an email from Juhino. I attached some pictures, uh, for you, so check them out. This seems to be a pretty famous abandoned hospital. They say it's because a lot of patients died or went insane for no reason. Rumors say that the doctors used to throw holes in patients' heads and do some kind of weird experiments. And since it closed down, apparently anyone who came here out of curiosity either died from strange diseases or died or went missing. There are a lot of these kinds of stories. They tried summoning shamans to cleanse the place, but they always pass out during the ceremony so nobody comes around here anymore. I'm trying to tell myself that they're just stories, but being here gives me the creep. I got a strange feeling after looking at the email and the attached pictures. Well, then, you probably didn't read any more emails. I tried calling Jehuno, but I just couldn't get through to him. Ring, ring. Now that I think back on it, maybe it wasn't that he wouldn't answer. Maybe he couldn't answer. There was nothing written in the second email. Click the of what looked like a picture of the dark interior of the hospital, of the abandoned hospital. The rest of the old operating tables looked more like torture racks. There were all kinds of tools and bits of things scattered on the ground. 
I kept expecting someone to jump out at me from one of the doors, finding the seemingly endless hallway. The last picture in particular really disturbed me. It was just a star of pitch black. I couldn't make out a thing. But it wasn't just normal darkness. I could definitely see the shape of something lurking in the dark. You guys tell me if y'all can see something with this black picture going on there. I kept hearing the call Jihino, but I couldn't reach him for several days. Whenever I called him, I could just hear a faint buzzing sound in the background. It was the kind of sound an old squeaky machine might make if it needed some oil. Boo, creak, boo. And then finally, I got a third email from him. Strange, he sent me an email, but he won't pick up his phone. I decided to think about that later and just open the email for now. Dot, 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 What the? And that's just a bunch of random letters there. I don't know. It was a jumbled mess of words and letters. Maybe it's some kind of internet or computer problem. That doesn't look like an internet or computer problem. Well, maybe he's trying to mess with me. He hasn't lost his mind going to that hospital, has he? I ignored my anxieties for the moment and opened the attached picture. In the first picture, there was someone laying on the dark operating table. That looks creepy. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I thought I heard something. In the first picture, there was someone laying on the dark operating table. And beside that, there was a doctor in an operating gown. Well, crap. In the next picture, the doctor had turned his head and seemed to be glaring at the camera? I'm scared. In the pale doctor's hand, there was a surgical drill. Those cold eyes seemed to be gazing at me right through the monitor. It was only when I tore my eyes away from his and directed them to the person on the table that I saw something really unnerving. The freezing clothes of the person laying on the table. Da 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 Where Jehino's... Where Juno's... I reported it to the... Oh, the... Oh, the clothes are Juno's! I reported it to the police, but they still haven't found him. There isn't a single trace of evidence in the hospital that Jehino was ever even there. I kept remembering the doctor's face. I'm afraid that Juno's going to suddenly call me. Thankfully, he still hasn't. But I got another email. I'm terrified to open it because I know that there's something very wrong with it. As if possessed my if as if possessed my hand took on a life of its own and clicked the attached picture. Click. It was just a shot of pure darkness. It was so dark it looked like the monitor had shut off. The dark monitor was like a mirror reflecting my own face. And then I saw the doctor standing behind me, staring at me. Wait. Is this the end of the episode? No, it's not the end of the episode, I don't think. So, today's the deadline for the special horror comic. But we still haven't heard from the author or artist. Did they say they were going to be late? Wait. Wait, is this episode one? Okay, no. We're still on episode one. Okay. We're still on episode one, guys. We gotta go back. We gotta scroll all the way back down to where we were. Because I was just wondering if this was still episode one. Because it didn't look like it was episode one. Okay. Sir, sure, today's the deadline for the special horror comic, but we still haven't heard from the author or artist. Did they say they were going to be late? Hmm, I'm not sure. I tried calling them yesterday, but all I could hear was this weird buzzing sound. Should I try again? Uh, the author just sent me a copy of the comic. The title is The Vault of Horror, A Collection of Nightmares. Research. Okay! Um, that was episode one. I will see you guys later. Um, I will probably be doing episode two sometime next week or this week or something. I don't know. But I'll see you guys later. And, uh, bye.